Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new episode of Let's Play Ark Survival Evolved 101 Season 2, Episode, uh, what are we up to now, 3? I think so. Uh, so we managed to tame ourselves, uh, Mr. J Reapers here, our first turtle, which is good, but we want to build some, uh, these bolas here, which is going to require me to do a bit more resource grabbing. And, uh, today's goal is I want to capture a parasaur to join our team. They are the first, uh, mountable team that we can acquire. Uh, just making sure that, uh, Mr. J Reapers isn't carrying anything. And then we're going to go off on our adventure, much as before. And, uh, of course I'm messing with the buttons and everyone comes following. <laughs> so, I want to get everybody over here. Alright. See, one of the guides said to press, I think, L1 and R1 at the same time to put your, to holster your weapon, and that wasn't, that doesn't, isn't what happens. It, it fucking targets your, whoever's following you. Alright, so we're going to run along the shore here because uh, I think this way is a little safer. The other way is a little closer to inland, and uh, as a result gets a few more predators. But I'll head down this way to look for that shallow bit of uh, river once again that we can cross so that we're good there. Okay. Oh, uh, and there comes a drop. Maybe we'll check that out while we're up there. But, uh, first things first. Get us a turtle. I haven't seen any turtles around. I thought there were some hanging around on this beach not that long ago. Um, I also need to get some more supplies because I do want to make some bolas. Uh, obviously I need bolas before I can even capture the sucker. I also need a lot of hide. So, <laughs> you always need a lot of hide in this game. I'm going to be keeping my eyes out for that. So we're going to go for a quick swim here. It uh, doesn't look like there's anything down here that's going to trouble us. Which is good. Naturally, you don't want to uh, run into too many Mega Piranha. You can avoid it. And uh, go up for some air every now and then. Nothing followed me, so we're uh, we're all kosher here. Um, and we're on the western bank of our little peninsula area. And I'm going to get some thatch. And some other stuff, and, uh, go turtle hunting. Well, not turtle hunting. I'm still stuck on that, sorry. I'm going, uh, what's it called? Uh, parasaur hunting. You know, I did find a parasaur in the last episode, of course, but the bugger got away. I was hoping to find him again, but, uh, he's long gone, so. No sign. He would be probably still panicked running around. His arc is weird. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I see a turtle off in the distance there. Pretty sure that's a turtle. Might just be some rocks. Um, well, we're looking for a parasaur. And, uh, we'll probably head for that drop just in case. And just see what else we find, you know? I got my club handy. Uh, so that's good. Uh, the bola and club are the easiest way to tame early game. Uh, obviously the slingshot works as well. You just gotta carry a lot of stone on you. And it takes a long time to knock pretty much anything out with those, so... Uh, usually better if you have better uh, footing, you know, if you got the high ground. And we got some dodos over there. Uh, not much else to look at. Get three dodos. Now I'm going to kill these for some meat and some hide. Because, like I said, you always need that stuff. Okay, so we'll chop this guy up. You have to get just the right angle on him. There we go. <laughs> and uh, that'll get us some hide. We'll get some more. We'll kill uh, another dodo or two after I track him down, find out where they went. Here's one. He tried to swim, but the guy he can't. So we'll kill this dodo for some more hide. Oh, and there's a parasaur in the background, so that's what I came here for. So that's where we're going to head next, but I am going to need to make sure that I can uh, bola the sucker. Um, Listosaurus there. Not much else going on. It's good. No predators around. That's good. And we'll collect some more fiber, some more berries. Uh, just to make sure that we have plenty of berries to tame the guy with. Because the parasaurs are vegetarians. So they tame on berries. We need lots of measure berries. And we tend to go through them pretty quick on these taming missions. Okay, so I got my bola handy. So bolaing this guy should be pretty easy. Just got to make sure you're right in front of him. And there you go, he's bolded, and he's not bolded. Apparently I missed. Uh, that's good, he didn't aggro then. There we go, now he's bolded. And we're just going to club him in the head here until he knocks out. Now you do have to be careful because, uh, I believe I mentioned it last time, if they get too bloody you can kill them with a club. 
So, and that is usual uh, taming approach. You have to be careful not to kill things until you get some better uh, ways to knock them out. The club will work fine, most likely. I'm just going to lay into him because we don't seem to be... There we go. Now he's out. So now we're just going to uh, stick some measure berries in him. And that should actually pretty much team itself. It's a female. Uh, nice low level. So it shouldn't take too long. Parasaurs are decent utility uh, mounts. They can um, carry a fair amount. And uh, they actually have a tremendous amount of stamina. So they're not the fastest runners, but they can sprint for a long time. And they're decent swimmers. Not great, but decent. So they're, they're not bad early game mounts at all, and you get some special skins and stuff to use with them, which is cool. Not necessary, but uh, nice to have. So I got some time here, just gonna sit around and make sure nothing comes for us, and uh, tame our Parasaur buddy. Now the long term game is going to be, uh, once I can make Trank Arrows, I'll be able to tame a uh, Flyer, even though I won't be able to ride it for a while, but I can have one for the sake of having one. You know, let it start getting leveled up with uh, Lizzie the Listosaurus. I can make a few more of bolas here, which is good. And uh, and we're just we're gonna be taming a lot of stuff right now, and slowly working our way up the uh, equipment ladder. Eventually, we'll be able to make some hide armor, which is not great armor, but it's okay. It'll actually uh, protect us a little and, and allow us to you know travel a little bit further, uh, which is good. Um, eventually we're gonna want to, of course, get the stone structures, and, uh, I figured I'd kill this guy for some more, uh, for some more hide, because, like I said, you can never have enough hide, and we'll also harvest some berries. Uh, Parasaur seems to be doing okay here, let's check his, her progress, yep, she's doing good, um, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on her. And uh, collect more stuff. Uh, the Parasaur is also a pretty good harvester. Uh, not the best, but it's decent. So early game, it's a good way to get lots and lots of berries. Um, they're not great in combat. They can frighten away smaller enemies with the... If you click the right analog stick, he'll roar. And smaller enemies like the Lophosaurus will, will run away. Um, that's about the best you get, though. I'm going to kill this sucker. He was hiding from me. This uh, purple jacketed son of a gun. And get more hide. We need lots and lots of hide to make uh, the bed. We need lots of hide to make uh, the utilities we need to make. Because we also need to make a uh, a furnace and a, uh, a workbench. Or a smithy as they call it in this game. Um, that's all important stuff. And of course we want to make a saddle which also uses a ton of hide. So we're going to level up again here. Put it in weight. And uh, let's see what else I can get that might be useful. Uh, at the moment. Got the mortar and pest. Uh, I'm probably not going to mess with the paintbrush. Oh yeah, the cooking pot. I haven't gotten one of those yet. Son of a gun. Uh, definitely want to make a cooking pot. Um, cementing paste down there. We got the wooden ladder. Gunpowder. Uh, yep, and we've already got leveled up enough to unlock the hide stuff. But uh, that's going to take some doing. I'm going to leave it for now. You can always leave if you're not sure what to pick, and uh, your Ingram points will just sit there and wait for you. It's no big deal. Um, so yeah, we'll make hide armor that allows us to go a little further. And we're going to try to tame some dinos that can actually help us in battle, too. That would be extremely useful. Uh, even a squad of dillos or uh, some raptors. And of course, my ideal ones are I'd like to get an iguanodon and a... Uh, oh, what was the other one called? Not an over-raptor. Uh... I can't remember his name now, but there's another, uh, it looks very much like the Iguanodon, but it isn't. <laughs> if I can find one, I'd like to get one of those, too, so, uh, that's all on the list of stuff to get. Uh, we can only mount so many at the moment. The Parasaur is the first mount, so we're gonna go ahead and get one. Uh, the rest are pretty much gonna be bodyguards. Doesn't hurt to have some good bodyguards. The Iguanodon will be an advanced, uh, mount as well once we get a... Once we can make the saddle, the Iguanodon is a much better mount. Basically the same, but uh, just better than the Parasaur. It can harvest as well, but uh, it's decent in combat and it's very fast. So here we got a Parasaur. She's a female. So uh, I tried to think of a good name for a female Parasaur, you know, and uh, 
all I could think of was Paula, Paula the Parasaur. Okay, so we've got Paula, and uh, we can make her saddle, we just need the ingredients. Uh, she's already following us, which is good, but we still need a lot of hide. Uh, I'm going to take the measure berries off her and give her some other berries for now to help her keep her stamina and health up. And we're going to kill some more stuff. We're going to try to look for bigger things because we want to get lots and lots of... And we are going to need some like wooden thatch and stuff to make the uh, the saddle. Saddle also acts as armor for, um, for your mounts. So if you can make a better one, it's usually better to do so. In drops, sometimes you'll find more advanced blueprints and uh and those will provide better armor and attack bonuses and stuff to your to your mounts so it's always good to keep an eye out for that up ahead there's the green obelisk in the background uh that's where you can go to get to the first boss if you collect enough um what do they call them you need to collect the things that are the relics is that what they're called that are hidden throughout the the levels so when you get enough of those you can activate the obelisk and go fight the boss. And when you beat all three bosses, you'll unlock the final area and the final boss. So I'm going to get some more hide from this little guy. It's, he's not going to give much, but I'm going to take all the hide I can get because I want to make this saddle so that I can properly mount my uh, my Paula here. She's going to be my ride for a while. Sort of like my ATV. Not super fast or anything, but um, good for carrying stuff. <laughs> and fast enough, really. Um, yeah, so we're going to try to look for something a little bigger. If we can maybe find another turtle, uh, this time we'll kill it. And, uh, we can get lots of hide and keratin from, uh, turtles, which is cool. Uh, oh, and there's another, um, just as well, another parasaur. I don't, I don't, I don't need to collect parasaurs. I'm not going to meet them or anything. They don't have that much use. But if I can manage to, uh, bolo this one, then, uh, we can kill it. Now that'll actually be a lot of... There's a trike. Uh, I'm not going to go after the Triceratops because he's... Uh, when I hit the ground again, I am terrible. There we go. And now we're just going to take our spear and stab the crap out of this guy. Because uh, that'll actually be a fair amount of hide. So, I think this is the guy that ran away from me before, actually. So I remember him having like a cool blue and red color scheme. Okay, so now we'll chop this guy up. And that should give us plenty of hide. For, uh, for our saddle, which is good. I, I'm not going to pick a fight with the trike, because they, they're actually pretty tough. Um, he could definitely wreck my shit. And we still need uh, more hide. <laughs> so uh, we'll look for something else to kill. Like I said, I don't want to take it. Uh, go after that trike. He's, he's going to mess us pretty bad. Um, trikes aren't the most powerful in the game, but they're... Strong enough to take out raptors. Oh, there's one that's running. That that must have been the one I, I had before. Alright, so it wasn't that guy. Well, uh, if we can track him down... Um, yeah, if you hold still for a minute, we can harvest some more hide from him, which will be good. Okay, nothing down here. Good, coast is clear. Very good. Um... So hopefully the audio quality is better for you guys today. I did try a different method. Uh, a little convoluted, but it seems to have gotten the trick done, which is good. Okay, so we'll do the same practice as before. We're going to uh, snag him in the our snare there, and then we're going to just poke him to death. That was quick. He wasn't as high a level as the other one was. And chop up the hide. It should give us enough hide to finally make that damn saddle, and we're good to go there. Okay, so let's check it out. Go to crafting. Yep, it's ready to go. Okay, so we'll craft this saddle. Which is good. I collected a lot of hide to do this. And Paula is going to be our new best friend. So yeah, hopefully the audio is better this time. Uh, I hate to... Oh, I just transferred it over to Paula's inventory instead of equipping it. There we go. And Paula has our first mount, our first saddle. So as I say, we got basic attack there. They can uh, parasaurs can sense enemies nearby. I've never actually seen it work too well. They don't uh, have the greatest turn radius, but uh, when you put them to sprint by pressing down the left analog stick, they go a decent speed, and uh, um, they can go for a very long time like that as well. So 
and uh, we're gonna take on this Dillo here, give him a good chomping. And uh, Parasaurs aren't super tough, but they can at least handle a Dillo. Okay, go on, Paula, eat it up. Okay, apparently, Paula doesn't want to eat its remains, which is fine, I'll chop it up and uh, get some more hide because we're bound to, we're gonna try to make hide armor eventually. We're gonna need the extra hide also for the bed. Um, and other than that, we're on Paula and we're good to go. Okay, so Paula can level up here. So we'll put some uh, in health. And she does her little dance for us, which is nice. And uh, and we're good to go. So Paula's going to be my main ride. I'll take her around, uh, probably do some collecting. And, uh, you know, level her up a bit more. She's, uh, she's just my ride for the moment. You know, when we can get to... Uh, well, when we get some bodyguards who can keep up with us, we'll be able to go a little further inland, and uh, we won't be collecting relics yet. And here we're going to try some harvesting out to get some extra berries and whatnot. Now, when you harvest with the dinosaurs, you only get the berries and the seeds. You don't get um, fiber for some reason. Uh, dinosaurs don't seem to be able to collect fiber. You pretty much always get wood instead of thatch, and uh, stone instead of flint. So, uh, you can keep that in mind. But, uh, if we look at Paula's inventory here, yep, lots and lots of berries. And some berry seeds as well. So, uh, not too shabby. Uh, not too shabby at all. You're just not going to get fiber that way, which is unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, you have to get fiber by hand. <laughs> so, we're going to bring Paula over and get her to, uh, level up with Liz here for a little while. And, um... Over by our beach house, our love shack, and uh, pet Liz, make sure she's still rocking and rolling. And uh, we'll take a quick look in here, and uh, the dodos are still in here, along with the campfire and the mortar and pest. So, uh, I made a box, I think that's all I did in the night, and uh, we're good to go. So, we're missing a dodo, <laughs> I couldn't figure out. Uh, what happened to him? And he's out there wandering around, so... Uh... I just ran out and grabbed Donald here. And just tossed him back in the house. Sometimes stuff like that happens. I forgot Paula was still following me. Um... You know, especially when you go a good ways from the house. And, uh... Sometimes the map resets, and that's what causes that. Okay, so we're done with that for now. Um... The next plan is going to be, uh take Paula out, or we're going to move Paula back over where she can level up. And, uh, we're going to tell her to stop following, because we don't want her to, uh, to keep following. First we'll check her inventory to make sure she, uh, she doesn't have anything we want, and then we'll tell her to stop following, because she's going to sit here and just level up for a while, uh, while we run around and do some of our basic stuff. So I'm going to level up in here again. Okay, this time we're going to put it in, uh, put it in weight again. I seem to be getting weighed down a lot lately. I don't know uh, what it is exactly, uh, but it keeps happening. Alright, so I'm going down all the way to the most we can learn. We're at 16 now. Uh, let's see, large storage box, gravestone, bug repellent, trike saddle. Trike saddle is pretty cool, but uh, it's expensive. And I can't really tra uh, tame a, a trike yet. I need, trike, or, uh, I need uh, the right arrows. To knock them out, you know, trank arrows. Uh, there's, there's no point trying it with a slingshot or with a club. It's, it's, no, it's not going to work. So uh, let's see. We got the wooden stuff here. We got stim. You know, we can build a carbo saddle so we can uh, saddle up Mr. J Reapers if we want. Uh, they're not the greatest mounts, um, but you know, it's an option. Um, so I'm considering my options here, and. Uh, of course, we need uh, metal to make a lot of this stuff, and I haven't been doing the metal things just yet until we get to uh, level up enough to get like the furnace and the, the workbench. There's not much point in getting stuff like the spyglass and the compass. Um, oh, here. oh yeah, we can start building wood. I do want to upgrade the house to wood. That's definitely something I want to do. We're not going to go crazy with the wood just yet. Uh... Considering stimulant, but I, I don't think I need it for anything. We're going to just focus on the wood for now. And, uh, 
just start upgrading the cabin. And the spyglass, because what the heck, why not? Um, yeah, we're just going to upgrade the, the love shack here. And uh, we're not going to try too hard. We're not going to expand too much. You know, we're not going to build too many things. Uh, we're just going to get the basics and uh, just get it along. So I'll look in here and see if I got, I got lots of wood. So I'll take all my wood and start making stuff. Okay, so first we can do foundations. How many can I make? I can make one foundation. <laughs> okay. And we'll craft that. And uh, I'll have to grab more wood. Pretty sure that's pretty much all you need to make this stuff. And now I can make, uh, make some more. There you go, one more. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't know how much wood uh, and stuff it was going to take here. I also need some thatch, and I'm weighed down because of the wood. So I got to look, and I do have some over there. Um, I figured I'd put some, uh, some stuff down first to move that over so I can move. All right. And then, uh, we can check here for stuff. Okay, we're gonna cook up some meats. Which will be good. Light that fire. We'll also need some of that charcoal eventually. Um. That's about it. We cook up that meat and we'll keep the rest raw because, uh, we'll eat some. Keep our food levels up. And I'm gonna split this stack up because, uh, the, di the different stacks of meat will spoil faster that way. And we can make more narcotics, which can make uh, trank arrows and stuff. So we're going to have that working for us, and we're going to collect more stuff. So that we can uh, build this, upgrade this shack for ourselves. Okay. So I'm going to run over here where the, the trees are a little denser. Just so that I'm not, you know, chopping up all the trees by my house. I kind of like the shit, you know. Trying to cut back on the global warming and whatnot. <laughs> We'll get lots of thatch. Thatch doesn't weigh too much, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but my weight is pretty up there, so I'm not going to mess around too much. And we need more wood, which I have back at the shack. So I'll grab some more of the wood I have there, and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. Of course, I realize I could also chop up wood while I'm out here, you know, save myself the trip. Uh, it'll prevent me from moving. Also, these things also are in need of repair, so I figured I'd repair it while I got it. And we'll wait for it to finish fixing. And there we go. Now we'll get some wood, and uh, we'll make some more uh, foundations before we head on back to the house. Get yeah, lots of wood from there, that's good. Very, very good. And how many more can we make here? One more. <laughs> I tell you, I didn't realize how much wood it actually takes to make one of these things. Uh, it's a ridiculous amount of wood, and we need fiber as well now. Um, so, you know, this is this is going to take a little bit, but uh, hey, this is arc. And we're still we're making progress, so it's not so bad. I have three of the um, foundation pieces already, which is uh, it's enough to get started. I, you know, I don't have anything left on this guy now, uh, so I'll just level him up, give him some health. Good job, Mr. J. Reapers, keeping everybody safe. Uh, yep, Paula's ready to level up, so we'll give her a little, uh, a little extra something-something. Yeah, we'll just go with health for now. Good job, Paula. Keep collecting the XP up here, and uh, everything is good. Looks like Liz is already tired out, so we'll pet Liz again. And, uh, oh, and she's also got a level to gain, huh? All right, so we'll take care of that in a minute. First, we'll... Uh, Grab some more wood and see how many of these things we can create. I got lots of, of uh, fiber in here too, so fiber, thatch, wood. I'm just going to grab everything. And uh, we need at least three more foundations. So I'll try to make, make two more. So we're short just one. And, uh, and that's something. <laughs> so uh, we can replace all the foundation except one piece. And we need more wood. And I've used all the wood I had, including the wood that was uh, in here. So, yeah, 
That's how quickly wood disappears. Um, I'm gonna check my food real quick. Yeah, we cooked up a bunch of them. Ten steaks done. That's nice. Uh, I also have a big pile of spoiled meat now, which is good. Uh, we'll add to that. And I'm gonna put all the spoiled meat in here, in uh, the mortar and pest, where it can actually be useful. And we'll see how many narcotics we can make. I love crafting narcotics here because uh, it does it on its own. It doesn't slow us down or weigh us down, but it still adds to our experience. So, I already spoiled some more raw meat. I'm going to go out and get some more wood because, goddamn, we just can't seem to get enough wood. Uh, wood structures take a tremendous amount of resources. And this is just what, uh, this is what Arkin's all about, you know. Go out, chop some wood, build a house, and so your day begins. You know, okay, we got a dillo here. Um, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, dillos, they're not great, but uh, they're decent bodyguards, especially if you get a few of them. So I thought to myself, why not? Why not get us a dillo? You can uh, bowl them and knock them out pretty easily. So there you have it. I missed because I'm a terrible shot. Got him that time. Okay. And uh, we're going to hit around to his back and we're, where he can't hit us. And we're going to hit him and knock him out. Hopefully not kill the guy. It's uh, <laughs> pretty durable, but uh, who knows. It's a small animal. It can still die. We definitely don't want to remove the bola. Come on, go down, buddy. Go down. Go down. There we go. Now we have plenty of raw meat on us. So we can... Uh, just give that to him and let him tame. Probably won't even take too long. We got a turtle there that'd be worth a lot of hide. But uh, I don't even need that right now. We'll just wait for this guy. Mail the Lothosaur. And uh, then we'll be good to go. He is taking his time. Level 28. Not too bad. Not too bad. I do have another level up, so might as well go for it. Put it into. Uh, movement speed this time why not why not and uh still a lot of stuff to get oh i didn't get the rest of the wood we need the wooden door uh not gonna build a fence i'm not gonna deal with the triangle stuff um probably not gonna need a cage uh yeah we'll have to do the sloped roof and uh yeah that's all we can do for now okay this guy's taming Turtle's on his way. Uh, and a Pteranodon. I'd love to get a Pteranodon, even though I can't mount one. And won't be able to for some time. But uh, they're your first flyers, usually. Uh, very useful as... Well, not terribly useful. They're pretty much the worst flyers. Uh, they're fast, though. And uh, they run out of stamina super quick, and they can't carry anything. But, you know, they're flyers, and they're easy to tame, so... Eventually we'll have one, probably a group of them, because uh, in groups they can actually, they're decent in a, in a fighting scenario, so we'll see. But you can't take flyers, I think, into the boss fight, so there's no point uh, going crazy with them. Yeah, this guy's coming along nicely. We won't even need the Narcoberries. We're all good. Um, and this guy will be like a bodyguard for us. If we can get a few of these, uh, you're actually pretty well off, you know. I mean, one of them can help in a fight. Especially if you're fighting two. But you want to get a group of them. And uh, they can take down like medium sized enemies. Uh, as a group pretty well. As long as there's only one. <laughs> I probably wouldn't set them against a trike or a stegosaurus or something like that. But um, you know if you have like a raptor. Uh, they can help protect you from a raptor. Or from a. Uh, or anything like that you know. Uh. But they're not going to do well against Carnos or Tyrannosaurus, of course. So, pick your fights, guys. Uh, they can, if you've got a group of them, they can probably take out a Baryonyx. Maybe. Baryonyx is pretty tough, though, so probably not. But if they're high enough level, they will. And uh, especially if you're helping them. So this guy's almost done already. We'll get plus ten levels, which is nice. Welcome to our tribe, sir. And uh, I was trying to think of a good name for a Dilophosaur, but it's, nothing came to my mind. But he's Dirk. He's Dirk the Diloth the Dillo. Dirk the Dillo. And uh, I'm going to aggro this guy. And me and Dirk are going to collect his hide, uh, if I can. But he uh, he got away. <laughs> I 
I said, they're pretty quick when they go underwater, and uh, we can't catch them down there. There goes the pteranodon. The pteranodons flee when you shoot them or hit them, so uh, there's no point trying to get anything from them. But I did need also to get uh, more wood while I was out, so I'll go back to collecting wood. Another dillo. So we might as well, uh, oh, he's uh, not a dillo, sorry. He stole my measure berries. Oh, and Dirk's gonna get him. Go get him, Dirk. Go get him. There you go. Don't aggro the trike, though. Aggroing the trike would be terrible, especially with two of them. And what? Oh, my. Do -do -do. These guys, uh, what's it called? A mochapa or something? Uh, you can tame them with, uh, well, you need different items to tame them, actually. I was planning on taming one of these, and, uh, so the idea did occur to me. Uh, and I decided to try it out. He wants Tinto Berries, and uh, we happen to have plenty of Tinto Berries. Those are the red ones, so I put them in the last slot, right? And feed Tinto Berry. So there we go, and it says wait till hungry again, so I figured why not? Why not get another tame? These guys could be useful for something. He's almost done already. So I figured, hey, we'll feed him like one more Tinto and we're good to go, right? And uh, <laughs> it's a little more complicated than that, but you guys will see in a minute. I'm not even sure really what these things do. Uh, I just know that they tend to hang around the beach areas, and uh, they're they're passive, so you don't have to worry about them attacking you. Um, and if you kill them, they're actually good for a lot of uh, some oil. I think they give you, but they also give you lots of high. Now I gotta watch out for this guy. Hopefully, nothing aggroes him. You know, you don't want to aggro the trike. They're sort of like the bodyguards on the out there. You know, he's still not hungry. It sure takes a while. You know, he pooped. I think he pooped. Should be hungry any minute now. Scraping flowers. Uh, see, I'm not even sure what these guys are good for, but um, I figure it wouldn't hurt. You know, get another member of the tribe. And uh, he's digging for stuff. And now, uh, text changed. It wants a rare flower. Well, the only way to get rare flowers on the island is to grow them. And uh, and I don't have what I need to grow them. I don't. I can't make plants to grow things. Plots, I should say. Uh, so it is what it is. There's another turtle out here. So I figured, hey, we're out to get some hide. Might as well take another shot at another turtle. It's a little far away, though. But, uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. Yep, that looked like it hit him. Hit on the shell, but if it aggroed him, he'll be coming this way. But, uh, looks like he's not coming, so. So much for that. The trike doesn't mind. As long as we're not hitting another trike. Oh, we got these little guys. They're uh, compies. They were also featured, uh, in uh, Jurassic Park. So that's probably why they're here. But they're good for a little bit of hide. A little meat. You know, not much, but it's better than nothing. Alright. So, uh, oh, there's a turtle. He's definitely, uh, within range. So, like I said, I really wanted to get some hide. We need to make a bed. And we need to, uh, eventually we're gonna make some hide armor. Some other things. So I took as many shots with my arrow as I could. Until, uh, he got close enough to dirt here. And then I engaged the Dirk engaged. Now my uh, tricky part here was I was trying to keep the turtle distracted so he doesn't kill Dirk. Because he could. But uh, I also had to be careful of my own health. Because he's quite possibly able to kill me. So we got him. Good job, Dirk. Good job. We'll chop up this turtle. And get lots of hide. And probably some keratin as well. Uh, not a whole lot. I think if you use a pick on them you'll get more keratin. But there's not much we can do with keratin. This guy, Dirk's ready to level up. So we'll give him a level. We'll put it into melee. He's our fighter. Good job, Dirk. Very good, very good. So we got some more hide. And then I finally remembered, oh yeah, I'm here for wood. We need lots and lots of wood. So I can build my last foundation that I need to upgrade my cabin into a log cabin. Well, upgrade my hut into a cabin, I should say. Uh, we'll also, of course, need to make lots of walls and uh, door frame. We could also make window frames out of wood, but I haven't learned that one yet. So 
So I figure again I'm going after driftwood just to clean up the beach a little bit. I don't just chop down the living stuff. I'm already encumbered, so luckily I can make my last piece and I don't even have enough wood left to make so much as one wall. So we're gonna have to chop down some more wood so that I can make uh, I figure this tree's right here, so might as well just hit the stuff that's close by, you know? Plenty of trees around here, so I'm not too worried about uh you know, leaving the whole peninsula barren of trees. Um, I figured I'd collect some fiber and some berries. And, uh, you know, get as much stuff as I can. So I'm, over, I'm encumbered again, but I can also craft some stuff. I'll go ahead and make a bunch of walls. And uh, that's going to use up pretty much everything I got. So I'll go back to work here. Chopping trees, building walls. And uh, I'm not going to worry about the roof parts yet. Uh, because this is my beach house. So it's okay to have a thatch roof. That's, uh, perfectly acceptable. Um, but I am going to want to build the wall triangles so that I can have, uh, we'll build a bunch more. But, uh, yeah, I want to keep the sloped roof. So I'm going to need to build wooden, uh, wall triangles. Which is fine. And, uh, we got lots of stuff now. Um... I figured I might as well head back. There's another turtle here. I can get some more hide. Because uh, I do need a ton of hide. Which is also quite heavy. In order to make a bed. So and I'm making a simple bed. Because it's reusable. Unlike the... Uh, I figured I'd take some more shots at him. Until he gets close enough. And then I'll switch. Um, and here comes Dirk to help me out. Which is good. Me and Dirk got this one down. I'm sure Mr. J Reapers won't mind. He's uh, he's back at the hut keeping it safe. So I think this guy is fighting with an arrow in his head. Uh, I broke my spears. And uh, come on, buddy, come on. I decided to switch to arrows again because I figured uh, I might as well sit back and shoot at him while the dirt there keeps him busy up close. And he went down just like that. So there we go. Another a level 10 carbo to chop up for high we got a fair amount of keratin from that one and the axe broke so we fixed the axe <laughs> and uh we'll be back at to it in a minute oh and i'm punching him which still got you some hide meat as you saw but uh we did miss out a little bit because of that so we got lots of hide i'm going to eat some food because i am hungry and uh i'm going to grab some water because i'm thirsty grab that water <laughs> and you know other than that, I think we're good. Here comes Dirk. We're covered. Everything from the rear looks good. Uh, the Dillos are pretty quick. Oh yeah, there's this guy. You can kill these guys for a ton of hide as well. Uh, they're not terribly fast. So I figured, what the heck, let's go for it. Hoo-yah! Here he's running. But like I said, he can't outrun us. He can maybe outrun Dirk, but definitely can't outrun us. And we'll just keep stabbing them in the butt. Lots of hide you can get from these things. Uh, it may seem like you're killing a seal, but hey, I've got I gotta make a bed, man. You're, you're gonna be my bed, okay? So I'm gonna sleep. Uh, I'm gonna sleep sound and secure in my beach hut, thanks to you. So I appreciate your contribution, sir. All we got was hide and meat. I don't know why. Maybe if I used a pick, I'd have gotten some oil. I think that's what they give. Uh, we ran out of, running out of food again, so I ate some more cooked meat. And uh, other than that, we're going to head back to the shack and start doing some upgrades. Welcome back everyone, Mr. J Reapers, how's it going? Uh, Paula, Liz, everything good? This is uh, Dirk, he'll be joining our tribe. And uh, he's also my bodyguard. One of the few that can keep up with me, so we'll tell uh, everyone to stop. So Dirk stays out here, where, uh, after we pet Liz again, uh, he'll gain some XP. So, just for being stationary, which is fine. I forgot I had meat cooking over here. There was a lot of it, too. So, uh, we'll take that and we'll turn the fire off. And, uh, what, what happened to, uh, Daisy here? Daisy fell through the floor? Oh, boy, I tell you, I can't leave you guys for one minute. They're always going and getting stuck in places. Here we go. Come on, Daisy. You have to. You're, you guys are supposed to be making eggs for me. You're kind of slacking here, you know. Okay. 
Um, we'll close that. Uh, and I can remember what I was doing here again. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're making the... Uh, I'm going to put the foundation in my menu here. And I'm going to put some other stuff in there. And the walls will be next. But we'll finally be able to replace all the foundation here. And what you do is you just build it right on top of it. And it automatically replaces the floor. So as you can see, boom, floor gone. And uh, boom, another one. I keep uh, switching to the wrong thing. And uh, <laughs> there we go. Boom, another. Boom, another. Boom, another. And one more. Boom, another. And we didn't even have to. All this rubble will clear up in a minute. But we didn't even have to, you know, destroy or build again from scratch. You can just upgrade what you got. We'll put the wall down there for now. I'm going to leave at least uh, probably three walls out. Because, uh... I'm gonna want to make um, I'm gonna want to make a couple windows in here besides the door frame. So we're we still got walls here. I need a berry. There we go. Put up another wall, another wall, and this is how you upgrade. And we built another wall, so we can place another wall. That other one can be a window. We'll make uh, at least a couple more. Oh, we're out of we're out of what we need. So, <laughs> yeah, it took me a minute to realize. But I looked in and I was like, "Oh, it's not crafting." Okay, so we can level up. I'll level up weight again. Oh, we had two levels up just because I wasn't paying attention. So I'll put the other one in movement. And uh, I wasn't even ready for this level up. Uh, but we did. There was more wood stuff I wanted to make. Um, I'm not going to need a wooden ceiling. But. Um, Wood stairs, I'll need. Yeah, I needed to learn prerequisites for it, which was a wooden ceiling, apparently. Um, something on Genesis. Or drums. I was looking for uh, the wooden window frame, which just took me a minute. There's drums, cementing paste is something I'll probably need eventually. Oh, well, it looks like I can use... Uh, Keratin and Titan for that. Uh, it's the Asaurus saddle, which uh, we're not going to get. Uh, I couldn't quite find it, but uh, it, it was in there. Uh, it was just under where I was looking. I also needed to make a bed. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I don't have what I what I need for it. I, knew I, had, I only had one hide in here, uh, in this box. I put the Keratin away, uh, looking for other heavy things that I can put away to, uh, you know, because I'm a little worried about my weight. I am carrying some fish around just in case I run into a baryonyx. Um, and I was looking for stuff I could get rid of that's weighing me down. So I put the hide in there. There's lots of hide. And, uh, yeah, I got my weight down a little bit. Uh, I'd like to get it down a lot more, but it is what it is. Uh, it's also getting dark out. So, uh, I'll be starting the nighttime routine. I'm pretty much just going to be moving some stuff around and uh, not doing anything terribly interesting. So, uh, I like this torch uh, to start the night. I'm going to level up my dinos and I'll see you guys again in a bit.